This is the best five free video editing apps for iPhone with no watermark. So you can use these, there won't be any watermark on your video. And there are a bunch of really good features in these apps completely for free. And before we get into the first one, if you wanna know how to use them, some more information, check out the links in the description below. I'll also put today's deals on Amazon in the links in the description. You can go through to my store page and see everything there. But let's get into the first one, which is Philo. So Villo, I actually use a lot. It's a great app and it actually has many pro features completely for free. It also has a good chunk of modern and kind of fun features that just make it a good choice for a lot of people just looking to maybe edit some home movies or put some stuff on social media. So Villo works on a system of tracks. So you have each track that you can basically add to and edit. You can change everything in Villo tracks. So you have background music, sound effects, there are a bunch of sound effects for free in the app that come with it, which is really great. You can add voiceover on the app, which is really good. Motion stickers and templates as well. You can add them all in tracks. So it means that it's not cluttered. You can add or take away any track that you want at any time and move it around. It's really intuitive. Some features are locked and part of the paid version if you want to go up and get it. For example, adjustments and mosaic. For most people, this is totally fine and they do actually have some filters that you can use to change the style of your videos. And again, for most people, that's gonna be enough. All in all, the editor is very intuitive. It's very easy to cut the video and also edit the start and end points. There's also a Ken Burns feature, which allows you to kind of zoom in and out of the video or around the frame. It's not the most intuitive to use, but this is more a problem of editing on the iPhone rather than Velo in particular. If you wanna know more about these apps and how to use them, also some accessories for iPhone video, check out the links in the description. I'll put loads of more information and some cool products there. The next one is Adobe Premiere Rush. And if you've got an iPhone, you'll have access to this. On my Android and on the Google Play Store, I've not been able to find Premiere Rush. So I guess for now anyway, as of making this video, just for iPhone users. So Adobe Premiere is one of, if not the most popular video editor on computers. And actually a lot of that DNA moves over to Premiere Rush. This is basically a stripped down version. You get some powerful features and obviously a bit of an easier interface for smartphones. It is very intuitive, even for beginners. You can color grade in this app. You can sort out the white balance if you're a bit more professional. Something really amazing about this app, which actually none of the other apps gives you, is the ability to edit your videos cross-platform. So if you've got iOS or you're on Mac or even on a PC, you can basically save all of your edits in the cloud and then go and edit it in Adobe Premiere Rush as I said, no Android app that I can see for right now. So I guess you can't be doing that. The thing with Adobe Premiere Rush is I think it allows you to export maybe five videos or so, and then really it's gonna upsell you and try and get you a subscription to the Adobe Creative Cloud. To be honest, the Adobe Creative Cloud, depending on how much you use it, could be really good value. You have so many apps, you have Premiere, Premiere Rush, Photoshop, Photoshop Mix, all of the other apps. There are really so, so many. It is $20 a month or so for Premiere Rush, so maybe not worth it for you. But it is a very powerful editor for iPhone. You can easily confer aspect ratios. So if you wanna edit something for Instagram or TikTok, you can easily do that. There won't be any black bars. It is a very powerful app and is the starter app for people that maybe wanna try and take this more seriously in the future. And of course, if you do, then it's either Adobe and their Creative Cloud or sticking with the Apple lot, which obviously isn't kind of seen as, as professional as that Adobe Creative Cloud. Next, we have Video Leap, another free editor with no watermarks. And again, there is a premium version. A couple of aspects of the app aren't available unless you pay up. Most though are completely free. And I think for most people, you don't need to pay. Audio features are great in this app. You get free sound effects, free music that you can put over videos, and you can really easily change the aspect ratio of your videos to pretty much anything that you want. They actually call this canvas instead of aspect ratio, but you can actually basically auto fill. So this will take care of all those black bars. A nice touch here as well is when you're editing there is haptic feedback. So depending on what you're doing, if you're moving around something on the screen, you'll actually get some haptic feedback from the iPhone. Not massive deal, but it's a good touch. Making manual adjustments to the style and the exposure is part of the paid version though, but you do get a lot of 
auto effects and styles that you can put on, for example, filters, and that's part of the free version. There's also some really good add-ons like Glitch, which is a group of cool edits. This app also has a fantastic pixelate feature, which not all of them have. It's really intuitive to use. It's super easy. Just put it on top. Um, wherever you want, you can resize it and that will be pixelated. iMovie is simple and effective, and I would say the least feature rich of all of these apps on the list. But for iPhone, there are some massive advantages. It doesn't really have very good filters, in my opinion anyway, or styles. The text is very basic, doesn't really have good effects on that. I think it's also beaten by all of the others. There are no stickers or animations too much. GIFs are basically non-existent. So why is it actually on this list? Well, it's just so easy to use because it's in the Apple ecosystem. If you just want a simple basic editor, it works seamlessly. There's no bugs, there's no crashes. It also integrates with all the Apple devices. If you have an iPad or a Mac, it's gonna work literally seamlessly and you can save everything to iCloud too and download it on all your devices. You can also share it via AirDrop as well. Even though there aren't text effects or GIFs or things like that in the app, there's actually a green screen option, which is the easiest to use out of all of these apps. And you can upload anything you want in terms of animations or GIFs or animated text or anything you want using green screen. It's really simple to do, but obviously you need to get all of those things from somewhere else. Then we come to CapCut. This is made by ByteDance, which is the same company that makes TikTok. And actually, this app is just amazing in every way. It's totally free, there's no watermarks, and there's no restrictions on what you can do. This app lets you literally do everything. You can even make thumbnails in the app. You can take a screenshot from the video that you're editing, and then you can use that as the thumbnail. You can get end cards, funny cutaways, uh, add-ons, GIFs, animations. I would say this is really aimed at kind of younger people who are looking to uh, edit stuff either for TikTok or YouTube or any social media. But to be honest, if you're looking for a super powerful video editor for the iPhone, this has literally everything all of the others have and there is nothing taken away. You can put audio there and sound effects, that's all in the app. There's music that you can add on as well, voiceovers, stickers, text effects, emojis, filters, literally absolutely everything in this. I'm actually really impressed with this app. It's super powerful, it's really easy to use. Everything is here, it's very easy to cut video as well. ByteDance are a huge company, they're looking just to get as many users as possible and this app is literally totally free, no watermark and just has absolutely everything you could ever need when it comes to editing videos on your mobile. There are a few apps that didn't make the list but they've added watermarks recently. These apps do change as well so make sure that the app actually doesn't have a watermark when you're using it. As I said, check out the links in the description to today's deals and also some accessories for video for your smartphone. That's it for this one though. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.